Hey everybody, welcome back. If you have been a subscriber to this channel for a while, you already know me. I'm Kelly and I'm back. If you're brand new to this video and you're watching this video because you're interested in learning how to reduce bloating issues and improve your digestion, let me just introduce myself. My name's Kelly Alexa. I'm a serial entrepreneur and a founder of several successful, profitable startups. I'm also a fitness fanatic who's been obsessed with fitness for the better part of, gosh, I'm 50 now. I'm gonna say probably 25 maybe 20, a little bit more than 25 years. Yeah, so going back quite a ways. In today's video, I am going to share with you my isogenic story. And what's that? This is how by adding these nutritional products to my life, increasing the amount of nutrition I was taking in on a daily basis, I was able to conquer a, a problem that wasn't seeming to go away. And that is major digest digestion problems major digestion problems, that's a tongue twister, digestion problems, bloating, feeling gassy all the time, and also just issues with elimination in general. Yeah, we're talking about going to the bathroom. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over um, in great detail, just kidding, I'm gonna go over my symptoms, the steps that my doctor and I decided I was going to take, and ultimately what turned out to be the solution for me, which again, uh, came in the in the isogenics products that ended up being a fantastic solution for all of these issues for me. Stay tuned. Okay, so what were my symptoms? Let me explain to you that um, the only other time in my life I can remember having extreme, like ongoing chronic bloating issues, feeling like just gassy and swollen around my middle all the time was in my early, early 20s before I had discovered that I was lactose sensitive. The biggest change in my life and feeling better, honestly, was when I figured out that I was lactose sensitive and I cut out, and I don't want to say I cut out all dairy, but I greatly eliminated the amount of dairy I was taking in. And then I knew what it was like to feel better. Um, but recently, it was just this year, uh, shortly after I moved from Austin to San Antonio, I started experiencing, really for no apparent reason, um, and those of you that have been following me on Instagram, you know I was sharing this in my stories, I hadn't changed my diet, and the only thing that had changed really for me was moving from Austin to San Antonio. I don't think there's anything crazy in the water down here that was causing this, um, because of course, now I'm okay, but really I went from feeling like a normal person every day to literally after every single meal, I was bloated. Um, within 20 to 30 minutes after every single meal, I was bloated, I felt gassy, I felt swollen around my middle, all my workout clothes were tight on me, I felt intimidated to go to yoga class or to go to any type of um, gym situation because frankly, I felt so bloated. I felt like if somebody put a, a pin in my side, right, that I would just be like a helium balloon that would just let out air. I mean, it was not a good place to be. Additionally, now people, you have gotta get used to, if you, wanna, if you wanna improve your health, and if you're watching this video because you wanna improve your digestion and decrease bloating, you're gonna to have to get comfortable talking about the process of elimination, the physical process that our body goes through to eliminate waste. I used to be one of those people that would cringe if somebody said anything to do with anything to do with going to the bathroom. But you just have to realize like, we all have to go to the bathroom, it's a, it's a bodily function, and it is something that's really a pretty strong indicator of how healthy we are. So if you are regularly going to the bathroom, and by the bathroom I mean number two, pooping, okay, whatever you wanna call it, if you're regularly going every day, one to three times a day, that's a sign of health, okay? If you have constipation, if you have diarrhea, if you have a situation where maybe you're only going to the bathroom like every other day or two to three times a week, you have no idea how many people write in to me or the podcast and tell, uh, tell me that this is one of their problems, like they only go to the bathroom one or two times a week. What you should understand about that is all of that waste that your body is designed to get rid of, your body is designed to take food in, get the nutri nutrients out and the nutritional value out of that food, and whatever is not useful for the body, it eliminates the waste. So think about that, if you're not going to the bathroom, 
on a regular basis, that there's a reason they call it regularity. If you're not going to the bathroom on a regular basis every day, that stuff is stuck in your body. Do you want that stuff stuck in your body? If your body can't use it, it's not doing any favors. So the other symptom that I had was suddenly I went from somebody who was very regular. I go to the bathroom two times every morning, like clockwork. Um, and suddenly I was either going only once in the morning and I just, not to be incredibly TMI here, I just never felt like I finished the job. Um, I always felt like I still had to go later in the day. And sometimes I would be going to the bathroom at night and I've never been somebody, you guys have no idea how weird it is for me that I'm comfortable talking about this on video. Um, but for me to be going to the bathroom at night like that um, was weird. And I just, again, I think those of you, you, you know what I'm talking about. When, when you have to go to the bathroom, number two, right? When you have to poop and, and you haven't gone, you can, you can feel it. Like you can feel that you're, you're bloated and you know you'll feel better after you go. That's pretty much universal for all of us, right? That's why it's good to be having a regular process of elimination. I always felt like I, I wasn't getting rid of all of my waste. I, I certainly wasn't constipated. I wasn't experiencing diarrhea, but those were my primary symptoms. So bloated after every single meal without changing my diet, feeling gassy, feeling like I didn't want to go to the gym, feeling like I didn't want to go to yoga, and certainly my processes of elimination were uh, just effed up, for lack of a better way uh, of describing it. So what did I do? What were the steps that I took to start hopefully making this better? So my ultimate next steps were to reach out to my doctor. I work with a fantastic integrative medicine doctor um, who helps me balance my hormones, deal with my cortisol issues. I mean, if you guys have been following me for a while and tuning into this channel and my social media, you know I have, I've been on bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment for several years. Um, I have massive hormonal imbalance. I have co I've had high cortisol and really low cortisol. I have ha Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. I have experienced adrenal fatigue, adrenal burnout. I mean, you name it. I went through the hormonal imbalance drive through and asked for everything. And my doctor, Dr. Lane Sebring up in Austin is a fantastic doctor. And He's really fantastic because even when I have something like this where it's just, okay, I know something's not right with my body, I can connect with him and, and he'll work with me to discover the root cause versus just prescribing medication. So what he suggested was, let's take a food allergy test, news flash, I wasn't allergic to anything. Number two, he said, let's get your diet as clean as possible. Now, to be truthful, at that time, I was drinking a lot of diet soda. Those of you that follow me know this is always been my weakness, diet soda. Um, I want to not like it, but I love it. Um, and I was drinking a lot of diet soda and I was also having a lot of um, supplements that had sucralose in it. And I, I realized as I'm sharing this with you, one of the symptoms I forgot to mention to you, in addition to the elimination issues, the gassiness, the bloatingness, um, and just feeling like I wasn't digesting my food, I was also experiencing chronic headaches and migraines. It's kind of a big deal. Can't believe I forgot to mention that, sorry. So he told me one of the things that I should do was go as paleo and, and pure paleo as I could in my diet. And then also to get rid of any artificial sweeteners, artificial colors. He asked about the supplements I was taking. And I started to look in my closet and at some of the ingredients in the branched chain amino acids and the pre-workout I was taking. My man was taking the same stuff. Um, in my protein powder, you know, I. I been able to tolerate some whey protein and I bought some of my favorite flavors, the birthday cake flavors, the strawberry flavors, and all of these products had a ton of artificial colors, artificial sweeteners, lots of sucralose, um, and just bad stuff. So I cut them out and the truth is, I cut that stuff out and he also said, let's work on lowering your stress. It really didn't do much. I mean, I didn't notice any in increase in feeling better. I I, I didn't really notice anything. Now it was during this time that I've always been somebody who to some degree depends on supplements um, for my workouts and my training. So I was looking for a substitution for my protein powder and I was going to vitamin shop and I'm trying to find something that's plant-based, you know, ideally avoiding dairy. So I was looking for a non-whey, um, plant-based, sucralose-free protein powder. 
This is how, in this search, because I was looking for clean supplements to support my training, and also a, a clean protein powder, this is how I stumbled on Isogenics. Okay, so how did Isogenics end up being the solution? Um, let me be very clear here. I had no intention of thinking that when I got a new protein powder, that it was going to be some miraculous healing thing for me. It was really more of a side thing. Um, I just thought, I need to have a protein powder. I've got to take this seriously. I had cut out soda. So I reached out to a friend of mine, Bonnie Feaster, who I'd known for years, and I knew that she'd gotten involved in Isogenics. I'd also heard a podcast interview about two or three weeks before where they interviewed Kathy Savage. And I'd known Kathy Savage through just being a fan of the fitness uh, competition space. I knew her name and I heard this, this interview with her. It was more of a business interview. And she was talking about how she discovered Isogenics because she was looking for pure plant-based, you know, no chemical types of products for herself and the women that trained under her purview. Um, she, she has a business that um, serves fitness and figure competitors. So I'd had that in the back of my head, like check out Isogenics. So I reached out to Bonnie, I asked her, do you guys have a plant-based, super low free protein powder? And by any chance, do you guys carry other products? I never went to the website, I never had any idea what products they carried. I just knew that maybe they had some clean stuff. So she said yes, long and short of it, I ended up ordering a big package of stuff because I figured it's all backed by a 30 day money back guarantee, why not just try all the stuff? I wanted to try their organic greens because I had been taking greens, actually another, i have been taking athletic greens every morning for probably about a year and I really loved it, but I'd run out. And I kept thinking, well maybe because I'm taking my greens every morning, that could be part of it. Um, that, that could only help for me to start taking my greens again. So I ordered the greens, I ordered this uh, adaptogen, uh, it's called Ionix, I ordered these adaptogens, it's a powder, um, so I take my greens in the morning, and then after that I add a little bit more water to the same shaker cup, and then I pour in this Ionix, which is strictly adaptogens. If you don't know what adaptogens are and you have any kinds of issues like what I'm talking about in this video, you should do some Googling on adaptogens. Ultimately, these are herbs, Holy basil is one I've taken in the past. Ashwagandha is one I've taken in the past. Um, of course, I'm not gonna be able to think of others on the spot here, but really what they do is they help your body adapt to stress. That's why they're called adaptogens, and they are what my doctor has always recommended, and pretty much every book I've read on improving your health and helping with hormonal issues, hypothyroidism, digestion issues, gut issues, they're always gonna recommend adaptogens. So I ordered that, I ordered this plant-based meal replacement shake I'm obsessed with. Um, no sucralose, no artificial colors, no artificial sweeteners. I ordered some of their protein bars, I ordered some of their protein snacks, I ordered these chocolate Isa Delights that are like little individual serving sizes of chocolate, just heaven, and they're each like 35 calories. It's just perfect, because I have such a sweet tooth. Ultimately, I tried these products, started using them, and Literally within a week, uh, the bloating was gone, the headaches were greatly reduced, um, my elimination went back to normal, and I was like jaw to the floor. So when I say that Isogenics ended up being the solution, number one, it was the last thing I expected. I just thought I was gonna find a cool protein powder. Um, and I was excited that I found greens that not only tasted better than the last ones, but they were like 50% of the cost. I love that. Um, and they're organic. So again, took these products and, and very quickly, um, they made a huge impact. And then my man, because he had been listening to, probably been listening to me bitch about my stomach and feeling bloated and feeling uncomfortable and wanting to wear Spanx all the time. Um, he's like, let me try this. So he started taking the greens, he started taking the adaptogens, he started taking, um, well, the sports nutrition line is what we ordered next. Like, he started taking what I took in the morning and testing out the protein powder. He loved it. In fact, he actually liked the taste of the undenatured whey protein powder better than what we were using. We were using Quest Nutrition. This is not to bash any other company. It's just this is what works, you know, for us. So I'm not, I really don't want to make any judgments on some of the products I used to use. And if any of you are watching this and you use them, no bashing. Um, but again, he started taking that, it, it made a difference in both of our lives and 
we then started replacing all of our products with Isogenics products because they're all just pure and there's no artificial anything in any of them and you just feel good. And not only do they carry these products that I use all the time, but I had no idea that they also had, you know, probiotics, digestive enzymes, vitamins. I started taking the vitamin packs so I didn't have to have 700 bottles of uh, supplements in my in my counter over there. And those of you guys that have been following me know what a pain. I hated taking my vitamins and all my supplements and having to take it out of all the bottles. So um, the products, basically what I discovered after I tried these uh, initial products was Isogenics has basically the entire health solution. Everything, let me summarize this for you. Everything that my doctor has taught me and that I've learned from books and that I've learned from interviewing health and wellness experts and, and other doctors and practitioners on the Kelly O Show podcast, link below, um, everything that I've learned that I'm supposed to be taking, like probiotics, like prebiotics, like fiber, like uh, vitamin D, like um, essential fatty acids, like um, CBD. Um, we just came out with a, Isogenics just came out with a CBD topical peppermint oil. Um, like collagen, they just came out with a bone broth. Um, like, again, pure ingredients in a plant-based uh, protein powder. There's also whey protein powder, but it's undenatured whey. Like, Everything that I had learned and was already buying at other stores or on Amazon, it was here in this company in the purest, best form ever. And I was like, this has come into my life for a reason. It's almost like I had to go through that horrible, painful time of headaches and elimination problems and feeling bloated all the time to discover what ended up being a monumental blessing in my life. And I just, I am all in. My man and I use all of the products. We've recommended it because, frankly, when I started sharing this online um, with my followers, I had more people private messaging me before I even knew what to do with myself, asking how they could buy because they were experiencing the same problems, digestion issues, bloating issues, going to the bathroom issues. They were looking for pure supplements. They started to reach out to me and go, oh my God, I had no idea there's sucralose in my branch chain amino acids. I had no idea my protein powder had sucralose or Splenda in it, yada, yada, yada. So it's been such a blessing. Um, it feels so good to feel good again. I cannot recommend the products enough. I'm happy to walk through with you if you have questions. I mean, you're watching this video because you're looking for solutions on digestion, digestion issues and bloating. So if you are interested in trying these out again, you've got nothing to lose. There's a 30 day money back guarantee you can order from me. I am now a business rep for the company. You can just email me, I'll link down below, but you can email me kelly at kellyalexa.com. I'd be more than happy to help you get started trying out these products that literally I'm fine saying they've changed my life. They've changed my man's life. They've changed the life of several friends and family members and I'm out there to spread the word. Okay, everybody, I hope this video was helpful for you. Again, let me just summarize for you very quickly. As I stated in the beginning of the video, earlier this year, I started experiencing massive digestive issues. I don't know why I can't say that today. Massive digestive issues, bloating, gassiness, elimination problems, um, going to the bathroom issues, headaches, nothing by changing my diet and lifestyle really seemed to address the problem. What happened and made the biggest change was me discovering the wonderful line of Isogenics nutritional products. Um, I've really truly never had products change my life as much as these have. And as a result, you're gonna hear more about this in the next video, so make sure you're subscribed. But because of my really transformative experience and overwhelmingly positive experience, and seeing what these products did for people that I knew and my man, um, I've decided that this is going to be one of my business ventures. And I'll talk about that more in detail so that those of you that have questions um, can have those answered for you right away because several of you have reached out to me and said you're interested in pursuing this uh, as a business venture as well. It's a fantastic way if you're a fitness, health, and wellness addict of any kind, this is a no-brainer business venture for you to be involved in. Whether it's for side hustle money or inevitably for a full-time income, it's an outstanding company and I'm gonna be talking about that in detail on my next video. 
But if you guys have any questions or if you just have comments and feedback on this video, if it was helpful to you, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Please leave a comment below and introduce yourself if you are a new subscriber. And always be sure to subscribe and you can hit the little bell below this video so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. It's the new Kelly O YouTube channel, so I will be uploading new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you're tuned in. Also, head over to kellyalexa.com. Make sure you're subscribed over there. I'm relaunching my blog as well. Everything's come full circle to when I started blogging and YouTubing back in 2007 and 2008, but I've got a lot of exciting stuff coming. And then lastly, please make sure you're tuning in to the Kelly O Show podcast. I have, I think, close to 180 shows live right now. And you, if you want to learn about how to improve your health and wellness and really look at your fitness from a bigger perspective, because everything in our lives and everything in our bodies is connected, fitness is no longer just as simple as, you know, cutting calories and getting on the treadmill. There's bigger things at, at stake here, things that you have to understand, the impact of stress on our body, the impact of sleep, the impact of hormones. Those are all the types of things that I'm discussing on the podcast, and I do hope you'll go check it out and subscribe. Lastly, if you like the podcast, please be sure to take a moment and leave us a review on iTunes. It helps us get that show out so it can be seen and heard by more people that can use that information. Thanks, guys, so much for tuning in. I will see you next time on The Kelly O Show.